Why do I hate the Moscow Metro? I've made so many videos about how much I love the Metro here, but the truth is, is that it's not all perfect. Here are the downsides to Moscow's most important transport system. Number one, the Metro runs very often at capacity. This means it's absolutely packed. If you get the train during rush hour, you'll often have to wait three or four trains to go through a station until you can find one with a couple of inches space to squeeze yourself in. At the major stations, the transfers between trains can be nightmarish. There are often only two escalators for a whole train of people changing from one line to another, and this bottleneck can take a very, very long time. Number two, the older trains are very badly designed. There are not enough places to hold on and it's very common to be stood like sardines, squeezed against your fellow passenger with no control if you stand or if you fall, as you have nothing to hold. My main tactic personally on the metro is just to lean against the carriage door, which doesn't face towards the platform and just try and lean there for as long as possible. Number three, another design flaw of the trains is that they're insanely loud. Sometimes somebody can be standing a centimetre from your face and you can't have a conversation because of the noise. If someone calls you, you're better off waiting until you get out of the train as you won't be able to hear the call and they won't be able to hear you. The modern trains, however, are much nicer and much quieter but there's still an abundance of the old, rickety Soviet trains on the network. Another downside of the old trains is the summer heat. The old trains have terrible airflow and it's an almost suffocating feeling. It's a quintessential part of Moscow summer living, but I hate it. It can be over 40 degrees inside there at times and well, I don't know about you, but I don't like the idea of being in a sauna while fully clothed. Number five is terrible driving. There's no subtlety to the driving of the Metro drivers. They accelerate as fast as possible and they brake as hard as possible. This can happen between stations or arriving in a station and it's awful when it's in an old, shaky, rickety subway carriage. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you for watching this unusually negative video from me on this channel about Moscow. I hope you found it informative. I don't often make negative videos, but I feel like this is one I had to make after my why I love the Moscow Metro video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and if you want to see more about Moscow and the largest nation on earth, Russia, please give me a subscription. Thank you and goodbye.